Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be an AM skincare routine of all K-Beauty products, but I want to do a little more with this video today. I've been having one of those nostalgia filled weekends and I found myself thinking fondly about the way we used to approach K-Beauty. In the late 2010s, you could not look up a K-Beauty product without having the 10 step Korean skincare routine method recommended to you. And I found myself thinking how funny it is that this was such a big deal back then and it's kind of not really talked about anymore. What I want to do in today's video is a bit of reminiscing. We're going to do a full K-Beauty routine today and kind of compare it to the 10-step method. Timestamps and links are in the description box below as always. A few more things before we get into this video. This routine was kindly provided to me by YesStyle. They are calling it an anti-aging skincare routine. I think that's interesting because to me it has some anti-acne elements to it. So you kind of sent this to the right person, yes, Style. Thank you very much. I will have all of these products linked in the description box below along with my rewards code, which will save you an extra 2 to 5% on your order. And as for the graphics we're using today, this is a bit of a conglomerate of all of the other photo guides that I found simply by Googling. I did want to note though that this is not consistent from every graphic that you find and I think this makes sense because really this isn't some ancient tradition that we're talking about. I feel like in the 2010s we were kind of presented this idea as if it was something that was taught by Korean parents to their children across generations, but it seems that really where you can trace this is probably the founder of Soko Glam. I did find some articles that claimed that this came from K-pop stars or Korean actresses, but it to me, it seems that it probably came from Charlotte Show. I think we're ready to get into this video. Let's start with the category of cleanser. Now, it was so shocking for me to look through all of these graphics because I realized that, you know, we are obviously going to talk about the double cleanse here. This is something that is now so ubiquitous that it's not even... Uh, limited to K-Beauty anymore. You see all kinds of Western brands promoting the double cleanse, but yes, it did originate in Korea. What is odd though is I saw a lot of people saying that you might want to do a double cleanse twice a day, and that's something that feels very different in 2024. As I'm sure many of you know, a lot of people have moved to not cleansing their face at all, in the morning. And a lot of people have stopped double cleansing. I've talked to a lot of people who say, you know, I just do one of the two steps and that is enough for me. As I like to point out, personally, I switch things up. I am not somebody who is adamantly a doesn't wash my face in the morning person, nor do I wash my face every morning. For this routine, I actually took out this product right here from Hugga. Oh, I chose a brand who I struggle to pronounce their name. <laughs> I bought the PH Hyaluron Gel Cleanser mini size from them. I'll eventually have this in some speed reviews. Uh, I wanted to pull this out because it is one of those low pH cleansers and that's going to be relevant in this video. But realistically, what I do is I kind of examine my skin and where it is and you know what? I don't feel like I need to wash my face today. If there's anything I wish that I could convey to people more, it's that I don't think hard rules are productive be it with skincare, be it with don't get me started, the diet industry. Hard rules tend to really limit us when we are much more fluid beings. We are different from day to day, or at least some of us are, which is why sometimes I double cleanse, sometimes I only oil cleanse, sometimes I foam cleanse, regardless of time of day. The third step is exfoliate, and I feel like this might have been miscommunicated in the early days of this 10-step routine. This always was meant to be done one to two times a week. Who remembers the era of chemical exfoliation? Twice a day, chemical exfoliation led to a lot of problems for a lot of people. It's probably why after chemical exfoliants were huge, what trend happened next? Barrier care. Ah, 
natural repercussions. I was also noticing the prevalence of peeling gels in these graphics, and I would like to suggest a 2024 update to this. I just don't feel we hear that much about peeling gels anymore. They're still great products. If you want to use them, go ahead. But I would say the 2024 update in this category is these toner pads, especially, I mean, most of them contain PHA, which is a gentle chemical exfoliant. So to update this for 2024, we're almost moving the exfoliators into our second section. So let's jump ahead into what I'm calling the rehydrate section. This is because in a lot of these graphics, they were talking about how toner is a step that is necessary to bring your skin back to the proper pH. This feels a little dated. This feels a little dated to me because while it is true that cleansers used to be very alkaline, at this point in 2024, there are so many low pH options that do not throw off your skin's pH. You think you want a based cleanser, but you don't. No, you want a low pH cleanser. It is much more gentle on your skin, and then you don't have to worry about using a low pH toner. Instead, you can just go right into one of these gentle, hydrating toners that are everywhere in K-Beauty. This is the Coaxer Black Snail Collagen Toner with snail collagen and black rice. And one thing I wanted to say here is the second step is essence, as you see. A lot of people are confused by the difference between essence and toner. As a general rule, because there's no hard rules in skincare, but as a general rule, people tend to follow the thinnest to thickest guideline. It makes a lot of sense in terms of prepping your skin, reducing pilling. So toners are your more watery products, whereas essences tend to be thicker. Anywhere between a kind of more serum-like texture, which this has, and that thicker than water consistency. I am making toner my first step today. I did notice that this product seems to be a reformulation. I was actually bummed initially because I thought they might have added essential oils. This ingredients list I did have to type out. It's a little different on the Estyle website. But honestly, I think they might just be disclosing. They might just actually have switched over to disclosing because now I don't see the word fragrance here. And looking at this ingredients list, you can see how different these Korean toners are from especially the old school Western toners. This isn't really a thing anymore, but back in the 2000s, even the 2010s, Western toners were extremely astringent. If you want a throwback, you can find those old school toners in Clinique. <laughs> Whereas this and most K-Beauty toners are just so gentle, so hydrating. And even though we are just getting into this routine with the toner step, you are still seeing some of those more anti-aging friendly ingredients. Snail for deep hydration, some added collagen, copper tripeptide one. But let's do the essence step next, which I already showed you the texture of this one. The Benton Snail Bee High Content Essence. A lot of the 10-step routines I was coming across were saying Essence is the quintessential Korean skincare product. I don't know if I agree with that in kind of more of a complimentary way to K-Beauty actually, which is to say I don't know if we should limit Korean beauty's influence to only Essence. I mean, we just talked about how great Korean toners are. Have you tried Korean sunscreens? But yes, I, I do understand the appeal of this step because it typically is a little different from a serum in that it does, it, it feels like if you took a toner and a serum and you combined the two together, which is interesting because that's exactly where it sits in a skincare routine. Now, one thing I did wanna say about these two steps is that I don't necessarily think you need to do both of these. You could do one of these, and you could also layer these, not necessarily different essences. You could take the same essence and apply several layers of it. That's a whole nother technique in K-Beauty called the seven skin method. And ooh, that's a really nice method if you want to really give your skin a lot of extra hydration. Oh my gosh, y'all, I forgot I have a, um, 
hydrocolloid on, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm glad this routine has some anti-acne elements to it. <laughs> so do you see how there are multiple forms of peptides in this product? You can see that this ingredients list is more concentrated compared to the prior step of toner. Okay, I'm over here actually adding a second layer like I just said, just two, we don't have to go to seven. You know, th this is the thing with all of these uh, 10 steps, seven steps, it's up to you what you actually want to do. That's what I'm really trying to convey is that it's your skincare routine, however you want to do it, whatever works best for you is a-okay. We are now moving into the treatment section. I'm so excited about this one. This is the brand Astura. Their A Sika 365 Blemish Calming Serum. See what I mean? Anti-aging, anti-acne routine. I've got the acne for it. I have not tried much from this brand, even though I know their moisturizer is incredibly popular. Ah, it's all in Korean. I'm learning Korean. I cannot say any words yet, but I can almost, I can almost read the letters. You don't know what they mean. I just know what some of them sound like. Do you know how this happened? I had a subscriber tell me that they learned a little bit of the Korean writing language and they said it was surprisingly easy because let me tell you something about me. I do not do things because they are easy. I do things because I think they will be easy. Well, I'll have the ingredients up for you. I know this does contain uh, the Sika actives, at least one of them, I think one of them, <laughs> as well as niacinamide. We are talking about a much more gentle approach to acne because that's K-beauty for you. It is much more gentle as a whole. And whether you go with serums or ampoules, this is the step where you would have your skin concern targeted. And yes, for me, that is still acne. I'm still playing a little bit of acne whack-a-mole. It seems to only be with one pimple lately. He was here last, now he popped up here. I will admit to you all, I was really confused by the category of ampoules when I first got into K-beauty because it's not as clearly defined as I would like it to be. You've got some ampoules that are a little more toner-like in their nature, think the Skin 104 Centella ampoule, and then you've got, you know, the little concentrated glass vials, you ever use those kind of ampoules, which feel like even more concentrated serums. So again, my point here is really, hey man, it's cool. Don't stress it. It's just a skincare routine. It's like that movie, right? The, uh, the movie with the guys. I don't think I ever watched that movie. I do feel like I was surprised by where sheet masks are in most of these graphics. I expected them to be sooner, but I think this might be because I typically make my own sheet masks. I will once again link you my DIY sheet mask video. So I make them from toner, therefore I tend to do that step in the toner step. But again, hey man, it's your skincare routine. Do what you want. But we'll try it, we'll try it in this place today. The Frutia Green Grape Pore Control Mask. Oh, interesting, this has some exfoliating ingredients from PHA as well as from Papain. It smells like grapes. By the way, if you've never seen me use a sheet mask on my channel before, you're in for a treat. I've had this on for 20 minutes. Go ahead and take it off. And that completes our treatments. You see how we did a pore care mask. We did an acne serum that targets my skin concerns. Now we're back to a basic skincare routine wherein you finish everything by sealing. Kind of, you would typically have eye creams here, but I wanted to try this Axis Y Vegan Collagen Eye Serum. This has collagen, hyaluronic acid, and five peptides. And look at this applicator. This looks so exciting. I also noticed that this is $10.50 on YesStyle. They have a special promo going on. Ooh, move out of the way here. I feel like not a lot of product is coming out. Is there an on off? Oh, you pump it down. Oh, this is actually brilliant. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is a rollerball that works. I have griped for many years on this channel about rollerball eye serums. 
This is a brilliant system. I do like Axis Y though. Once again, Axis Y comes through with something that I feel is actually different. I like this brand. I did pump out way too much admittedly, but that's because we were figuring it out. I did want to tell you that in looking at the 10 step routine graphics, a lot of people were emphasizing that eye cream is of course an optional step, but some amount of people find that they often deal with sensitivities around their eye area, it's thinner skin, and some people cannot handle a moisturizer, just a regular moisturizer on their eye area. And this is something where, you know, in the past we've seen a lot of people say things like eye cream is a scam, but the idea of it being a scam really goes out the window when the supposedly scammy products are extremely affordable. And I think this is a lot of why people are choosing K-Beauty these days. You know, K-Beauty was more affordable in the 2010s. Now, with the inflation of Western products, it's even that much more of a divide between the cost of K-Beauty and Western products. And yet they're still out here innovating. I'm also happy to see that Axis Y kept this fragrance free. They're a bit of a mixed bag on their products having fragrance and not having fragrance, but I think that is preferable in an eye cream, at least personally. Again, because you're talking about a sensitive area. How many people are really asking for their under eyes to smell like flowers? Is that a common request? Ah, uh, my friends, we are gonna skip another step here. Remember, this is an AM skincare routine. Some of you know exactly what I'm about to say. Because this is an AM skincare routine and because a lot of K-Beauty sunscreens in particular are extremely moisturizing, we may not have to do moisturizer at all. And that's our game plan, friends. We are gonna use the brand new Monyo Hyaluron Hydrating Sunscreen, SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus. I actually chose this as one of my sponsored products that you get through the YesStyle Influencer Program. I will link that below if you're interested in joining. Just about every K-Beauty sunscreen that I've tried is deeply moisturizing. You really can skip your moisturizer step and just jump straight into sunscreen. Meanwhile, this is hard to do with Western sunscreens because they tend to be, especially the mineral options, tend to be pretty drying. It's really just that, you know, we're still stuck with our outdated sunscreen filters. I don't want to go off. I don't want to go off on my rant about <laughs> regulations in the US on sunscreens. It's a very frustrating topic. And it's another reason why people are turning to K-Beauty. You know, not only do we have these better price points, but these are just better sunscreens. Now, I have to admit to you, I am perplexed with this release. As you can most likely see, it does have Tinnosorb M in it. And I guess I'm a bit perplexed as to why they chose to do that. If you have a deeper skin tone, you might want to skip this one and look for sunscreens that do not have Tinnosorb M. I've talked about this in that video. For my second layer here, let's make sure to get it around my eyes. I do want to lock in that eye serum. Yeah, I will say, while I don't like that this is just a little slower than my preferred sunscreens, I do feel that it is deeply moisturizing. And coming full circle, I was thinking about how uh, my original perception of the 10-step routine was that this is something that parents teach their children. I do feel like the idea of teaching a full 10 steps probably isn't really a thing that's happening in Korea. Feel free to comment if you know more about this than I do. But that said, I do think Korean parents probably teach their kids about the importance of sunscreen. And let me tell you how that is something that I wish American parents were better at. I'm seeing way too much of the opposite. That's another thing I don't want to go off on in today's video. <laughs> I have to admit to you all, I feel like I made the right call by skipping moisturizer with this sunscreen. It is so moisturizing that it almost feels a little heavy. I don't think this will be for everyone, but I do have a feeling I will really like this as a primer. So I will try that and let you know how that goes in time. But let's wrap up this video by revisiting the full list and talking about it. So we took the 10 step routine today, but we did six steps. 
out of these 10 suggested steps. It was actually really fun to revisit this. It was, it was a lot of fun to revisit this, a lot of nostalgia for me. Let me know your thoughts. Do you still think about the 10 step system? Do you still use it? Or has it been kind of rough guidelines for you that maybe you've even forgotten about me? Me. <laughs> I really hadn't thought about this in a very long time, but now that I've followed it, I realized I kind of took some of these ideas to heart and they became a part of the way I approach skincare. And my friends, that's it for today's video. Thank you again to YesStyle for sending these products over. Can I tell you that unquestionably my favorite discovery today is the Axis Y eye serum. Ooh, I'm really excited to try this more. And I think the Benton too. I think I'm gonna really like the Benton essence. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you all next time.